Pew. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. This is Jeremiah. It's J-Man Manero with J-Man Speaks. Coming to you live and direct from our global headquarters here in Rochester, New York. We are simulcasting here on Facebook as well as the Instagram. And so today with 18 Friday, Ask the Experts, Anything Meaningful Friday, we wanted to talk about market activity or market reports or how to do a market update. Uh, as we watch the interwebs and we see how people are doing this, we felt it was an opportunity to help others. And what are some great ways to both get your, where to get your statistics, how to interpret the, the, the data, and then how to uh, make it more social and less like you're a data analyst regurgitating statistics, right? Because I believe you can still give a market update make it engaging, and then also have a call to action to get people to, to call you, message you, text you, email you, whatever the case may be, whatever it is that you're doing. So and it's perfect timing because I know that my local real estate board and most real estate boards within the next week or so should be releasing the year end statistics, right? So uh, the 2020 market report as it compares to 2019. I think it's, uh, it's an incredible opportunity to explain to the people, not just your clients, but also your prospects, uh, you know, what's going on in the market and what does it mean to them? Because just giving them the stats, hey, everybody, we got this many new listings and we got this many go pending and we got this many. Okay, that's it for our market update. Doing just that is not enough. Uh, you have to give them, you know, here's the information. Here's what it means to you. And here's the opportunity. If you give us a call, we can X, Y, Z. So I, as I look down, I'm actually looking at a market activity. Um, a market watch report that this is from Q3 2020. And I'm just going to kind of break this down and, and give you a quick example of how I would do this. First things first, I would go to the county that I sell the most real estate. So 99% of my transactions are in a county, the county of Monroe. So Monroe County. Why would I give statistics for a county that I don't even service? Uh, if you're in the five boroughs, New York City area, again, focus on one. You can't be like, I do all five boroughs. Nassau, Suffolk, I do it all. I got you. No, focus on one. Be the expert in that. Uh, this is also a great opportunity if you're a newer agent in the business, we hear that a lot with new agents saying, hey, you know, what can I do? How can I set myself apart? Hey, if you have time, right, which is our most precious asset, if you have the time because you don't have enough clients, become an expert on the market, right? Somebody asks you how the market, well, you know what? In Monroe County, it's uh, uh, homes for sale is down 38.6% this quarter over last quarter, 787 homes for sale. And then our new listings, and then go through it like that. It's a great opportunity to, to, to demonstrate to people as a new agent, I might be new, but I know my stuff. So study the inventory. And if you have the time and, and if properties are available, if there's open houses, go out and take a look, right? If you're not showing them to buyers, you can still take, you know, you don't want to during COVID times have uh, a seller leave just for you to look at a house. But if there's an open house, brokers open, uh, those are great opportunities to become more familiar with the inventory. All right, so there's one, two, three, four. There's five main categories with most of these reports. Again, I'm going to put that up there so you can see it. And I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll put an example report in the comments so you guys can see if you've never seen them. But the first category is homes for sale. Okay, and let me just do this. I'm going to change because I am a visual learner. So we're going to go over here. But boom, there, I'm on my real estate uh, board's website. I'm going to come over here. So if I went in, I'm in the members section, but even if I went to the general public section, you go news and statistics, and you go down, and it says statistics. Okay, and then if I go, all right, they have NYSAR, which is our New York State Association of Realtors, uh, reports in there, but we also have our local p reports. Scrolling to 2020. Hold on a second. Da, 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 One second. So 2019. That's for year end. That's why I'm not seeing it. 
Okay, let me bring this up over here again. All right. Okay, there we have it. Third quarter. So you can see, you can see what I see. All right, so you see like homes for sale is down 38.6%. They used to say inventory. Uh, I like that ours says homes for sale, but maybe yours says inventory. I would never use that word because nobody knows what inventory is, right? Inventory is what you stack on a shelf. Here's our inventory at the grocery store. Homes for sale is down 38.6%. So if you're watching this, what that means is there are less homes on the market available for purchase. It makes it tougher for a buyer with less homes for sale. Uh, given that our next statistic you see there is new listings. So that means, right, and it's comparing the third quarter of 2020 in comparison to the third quarter of 2019. Uh, it's about the same. So actually, we have the same amount of new listings, right? This is where you guys have to really dive deeper. We have the same amount of new listings but there's less homes for sale. That means more of the existing inventory or the homes that are listed, more of them are selling. That's why there's less homes for sale. Then you look at closed sales, third quarter of 2020 over third quarter of 2019 is down 10.4%. That means homes that closed as a result of a sale is down. So those of you saying, the market's crazy. It may seem crazy because there's nothing for you to sell, but you're just selling more of the listings that are on the market, which means there's less for you to sell, which if there was more, and I think every single person who's watching this, if you're in real estate, if there was more houses to sell, we'd be able to sell them and we'd have more sales, which means that number would be higher. So that's why the closed sales is actually down 10.4%. And then you look at median listing price is up 9.8%. What does that mean to you, Mr. and Mrs. Seller? It means the listing sale price, the amount of money your home will list, or the median sales price, sorry, the amount of, the price that your home will sell for is up 10%, which means you can possibly, and I like to use words like, you can quite possibly, because you can't guarantee anything. This is my opinion based on the data to say, look at, you can quite possibly net more money than ever before, right? We're in Rochester, New York, where we don't typically see double digit appreciation as, as it um, pertains to our sale price. So even if I scroll down and like say we, you know, I might highlight some other, other counties like, Hey, if you're, you know, if you're living in Genesee County, you're up 15.3. If you're in, if you're in, uh, Yates County, 16.7% yeah, yeah. and so on and so forth. Not because I want to service those markets because I want to pique those, those people's interests. Or I say, hey, if you know somebody that's in these counties, I can refer you to a great agent uh, in, in those areas. Okay. Next section of this report kind of breaks it down even further. Homes for sale, new listings, pending sales, closed sales. I think this is month over month, 9 2019 to 9 2020. And again, it's kind of more of the same, plus 12% on the median sale price, percentage of original price received. Look at that statistic right there. That is bananas, okay? I would highlight that. I would circle it. I would talk about that for probably five minutes. Percentage of original price received. Folks, listen. You want to talk about netting more money, which means what the list price compared to what it sells for. Properties are selling for a 1 101.4%, which means they're selling for 1.4% over asking, which means the price that we list it, it sells for more. Okay, that's up 4.3%. So you're going to net 4.3% this year over last year. Okay, when you if you're talking to people about you know oh I want I don't want to pay your commission well guess what my commissions you know my fee for service is built right into the transaction if you look at it this way because by listing with a realtor and putting it in the MLS 
we're actually up 4.3%. What about you, Miss For Sale by Owner or Mr. For Sale by Owner? How does that work for you? And then month supply of inventory. Again, this is like a real estate term. The amount of houses we have on the market, if, if, the, if our sales continued the way they are right now, we'd only have 1.8 months left before we're sold out. You know what sold out means? There's no more houses to sell, period. Okay, and then the affordability index is down 6.9. And then we go over activity, homes for sale, new listings, close sale, median sale price. And then this is broken down within the county. So even if you look at this, let me zoom it a little bit better so you probably hard for you to see. Zoomy, zoomy. Okay. So if you go Greece, uh, which is an area where I grew up, look at this. The homes for sale is down 46.6%. Okay, 46.6%. Well, I can't drag that over. Hold on one second. Okay, then you have uh, new listings is down 12%. Closed sales is down. But then see all the pluses, uh, I would highlight those areas and say, hey, look at, if you know somebody that's in Chai Lai, Clarkson, Gates, man, your new listings is up uh, 75%. Your closed sales is up 133.3%. You don't have to say it's only seven more closed sales. <laughs> only seven more closed sales. A lot of you like to use numbers. I love to use percentages because it's like your closed sales is up 133.3% then that's you know, a little bit more impressive sounding. And your goal for this is to get your phone to ring or your phone to buzz or your messenger to, to pop open so that people will contact you for, your, for their real estate needs. And, and a lot of times when I'm doing this, I don't say like if you're buying or selling, you just say, hey, you wanna know what your home is worth? And this is kind of a market, hit me up. Be happy to give you an anonymous home equity estimate, right? Okay, let's see what else we're going to do here. And then we have activity overview, and that, that goes through it there. So I kind of talked enough about the statistics, but highlight what you want, areas that you service in particular, and then interpret that data and explain what it means to a potential person in the market. Uh, I always, I don't print out a lot of things, but for st statistics, I like to because I will never misquote statistics, right? I'm going to, I would look down and go, okay, and here's what it means. And I might write little notes in there. Don't go like this. Good morning, everybody. Today we are talking about the market activity. No, I don't want you to do that. I want you to be a person, use your personality, have fun with it. All right, let me show you where I got the statistics. So I showed you the first place, okay? This was, uh, if you're a local GRAR member or nearby, this is the public side of it, okay? We have news, we have statistics, you go in there, and then this is what you can get. Now, if you're from New York State and you're watching this, all I did, uh, there's a lot of information on the New York State Association of Realtors site, but I went in, I did the search here, and, the, and I, had, uh, I did market, uh, housing market reports, and they're all indexed here. Okay, you have every month. And this is for the whole state. So you could do two separate if you wanted to do one for your local market and then one for the state and say, hey, if you know of anybody in this in these areas, let's just take a look. I haven't looked at this yet. But we're we'll going to take a look with you. Okay, monthly indicators. Uh, and, and it has a lot of good verbiage don't repeat this because then you're going to sound like an economist and you're not. Okay, but um, activity uh, snapshot, one year change in closed sales plus 21.1%. And then just go through that activity overview, new listing. This is for the whole state though. Let's see if it breaks it down to like regions. Days on market. Let's see, this is skewed. I don't even know if I would use the whole state. Average sale price, again, that's gone up. I guess you could use that data. Percentage of list price received, again, that's gone up. I would use that. Affordability has gone down. 
homes for sale in the entire New York state is down 20.5%, but they don't have, oh, do, okay. 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 They got it broken down by County. So then I guess like if you're in the five boroughs or maybe like you're, you're in lower upstate, we would call it like Westchester and that area, Nyack, Terrytown. I guess you could identify the different counties cause you do have a lot of people purchasing there from the city. Um, and the surrounding boroughs. So identify where there's some opportunities so that you can get referrals or get additional business. So that's on, on the NICEAR site as well. So when I would, when I'm done with this, I then would say, Hey, look at real estate's hyper local. You want to make sure that if you're thinking you want any data in regards to your area, give us a call, send us a message or I'm going to tie this right into the chat bot in the comments. I've already posted this, uh, but I'm just going to show you what it, what that would look like. I have a flow that's been created in my chat bot. Okay. Bring this over here. So what I mean by a flow is it, it's a scripted conversation. If you click the link in the comments, you'll see it. Um, if you want to use the keyword bot nerd, um, it'll give you a demo of what I'm talking about of a real estate bot demo, bot nerd, bot nerd, space or no space, no other words, but bot nerd, send us that message, uh, on messenger on either one of our pages, J man speaks or J man, the speaker, um, you see here. Okay. First question I ask, are you working with an exclusive buyer's agent? If the answer is yes. It says working with an agent. Okay. That is great. We're happy that you have exclusive representation. Please type your agent's name down below and we will forward them the information about the property, right? If I was doing this, uh, in regards to a property, if no, I say, okay, tell me about your dream home. And it continues from there. Oh, this is the dream home one. I think I one second. All right, here we go. Where are you living now? It asks questions like that. Hold on, let me see if I can I want to find the other one that I was looking for. Ten market. You're getting a peek behind the scenes of what's in a bot. We use many chat for our bots, but all of this would be included um, if you decided to. Here we go. Market report you decided to get a bot from us, all this stuff is included, but something as simple as a market report takes a lot of programming. Okay. So if I was doing this video on the market, I said, Hey, if you got questions about the market, real estate's hyper local, we can get you a market activity report wherever you live. It could be your street, your zip code, your town, your school district. We could create it for you. No obligation. We can do it anonymously. If you click the link below, it'll ask you a bunch of questions. We'll then send you the report. You don't even have to talk to us. And somebody who's like me, I'm like, oh, great. I don't have to talk to you. Fantastic. Okay. And so here's the first question we ask. How's the market? We can help. What would you like to know specifically? We can give you the statistics on your street, neighborhood, zip code, school district, and more. You tell us and we can make it happen. Okay. And then I got to go over here because then it goes to the next, next question. What about time frame? Do you want to know about the last three days, three weeks, or three months? Waiting for a reply from contact. Okay, once they reply with anything, got it. Watch your email for the market report. Let me know if you have any questions uh, on the report when you get it. And then it waits a little bit and says, thanks for all the deets. What is the best email to send your report to? And it will auto-populate the email from their Facebook profile. If that's not it, they will then type in whatever the best email is. Do, do, do. And then it continues from there. Let's see what else we ask. Okay. Then it says, got it. Watch your email for the market report and let me know if you have any questions on the mark on the report. When you get it, we'll get you that report ASAP. One last question. Would you like to tell me about your dream home? And then it goes into another flow. Oh yeah. I know. I know it's pretty nice. Um, if you go in, if you click on the link in the comments, you can, you can test it out. We'll, we'll delete you from the bot afterwards, but let me go back to 
here. All right, so we don't want to belabor the topic too much, but if you watched on, on Instagram, hold on one second. If you're still watching with us, um, this is all available on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash jmanspeaks. Facebook.com slash Shayman Speaks. So thanks for tuning in for Ask the Experts Anything Meaningful Friday. Hey, I would love for you to send me your ideas for what you'd like for me to talk about, but also, hey, send me your videos or send me what you plan to talk about in your video. I'd be happy to help. This is Jeremiah's J-Man Monero with J-Man Speaks, bringing you the future in the present. Make it a great day.